everyone, me again, welcome back to X Amelia X. So today I'm going to be talking about a subject that I think is incredibly important, it's really close to my heart and it's something that I stand by on this channel and that is mental health awareness. Now those of you who watch my weekly vlogs uh, will know that it's something I talk openly about, it's something I've had struggles with myself this year and it's something that I really feel strongly needs to be talked about in the wider community and normalised a little bit because I think you'll find that there's a lot more people out there struggling than you might think and I guarantee that pretty much everybody watching this video will have been through some kind of uh, mental health problem or know somebody who has. So for me, my mental health journey started this year when um, I was diagnosed with depression about two, maybe three months ago now, um, and it was something that kind of snuck up on me if I'm completely honest, and affected me all throughout the summer. I didn't realise I had depression until I went to my GP and spoke to her about it. Um, I didn't, I knew something was wrong with me, but I didn't know exactly what. I'd have horrendous mood swings, I'd be furiously angry one minute, uncontrollably sobbing the next for hours on end, and then feeling completely hopeless, really paranoid, really anxious, and then also just feeling completely numb. It was just absolutely exhausting, and it really started to take a toll on my relationship and my friends. Um, and, I, and me, I, and my self-esteem, you start to feel incredibly worthless and like you're a burden on anybody uh, that you come into contact with because you're either too miserable or unreliable or really anxious and worried and all you can talk about are these things that are going on in your mind which probably are never going to happen but they're really stressing you out and it became a real problem so much so that I decided to reach out for help. The reason why I didn't think I had depression was because I've got nothing to be depressed about, you know, I have a great house, I have an adorable little puppy, a fantastic job, friends, family, a boyfriend, and I just didn't think I had any reason to feel that way, or that I was even worthy of the word depression. And it wasn't until I saw my GP that she diagnosed me with that and suggested going on medication that I realised, yeah, okay, I've done the right thing by reaching out because I'm not well. Now loads of people, when I started to mention all this in my weekly vlogs, which are a real honest um, account of my week, my thoughts, my feelings, what I'm up to, um, so I do speak frankly about it and quite a few of you actually reached out and said that you were seeing similarities in the way you feel with how I was and you wanted to go and get help, but there were a number of you that I noticed that didn't really know where to start or were embarrassed to go to their GP, what if somebody sees you in there, um, what happens if the GP judges you and you have to then go in and see them for the rest of the time you are at that surgery. There were so many different worries and fears, but none of those fears are valid. Your doctor cannot disclose anything that you say with them to anybody else, they're not going to judge you and I guarantee you are not the only person, probably even that day, who's gone in with the same kind of concerns. It's really important that you do reach out and talk. However, if you are too nervous to go to your own GP, there is an awesome app that's out there called Push Doctor. Now, Push Doctor actually work from your phone and it's a way to see a doctor over video call. Now, there are real doctors on there and you can speak to them at any point. They're open from 6 a.m. till 11 p.m seven days a week and you just book in and get an appointment. I have used the service twice now and I managed to get an appointment within six minutes which is amazing and you go into your consultation which costs 20 pounds for 10 minutes and you sit and you talk to the doctor just like you would do in a GP surgery over video call and they can prescribe you drugs and diagnose things over the phone and send prescriptions, fax it over to your local pharmacy. So it's an amazing service, A, if you're caught with any kind of medical issue outside of your GP's opening hours, or B, if you're a little bit too nervous to go in and speak to your GP face to face. This is face to face, but it's over the phone. And it's, I just think it's an absolutely fantastic service that could be a great way for you guys to get help for your mental health, as well as physical health as well. So I guess the moral of this video is don't be afraid to talk about mental health. We really do need to beat the stigma. I have depression and I'm not afraid to talk about that, to say the D word. It doesn't define me as a person and it never will. 
Um, and I think that's really important to remember if you are suffering yourself. I know a lot of people who are on them, but don't, their friends and their family uh, don't know. But I will keep here championing <laughs> the, the stigma and I will talk about it until the cows come home because it's a chemical imbalance, it's not your fault, and there are easy ways to help through this, whether that be medication or counselling services, you got this. Just don't be afraid to ask for help. Well, that's about it for today guys, thank you so much for watching, I really hope this video has helped in some way. Um, yeah, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think, leave me a like, or don't forget to subscribe if you are new and come and check out the weekly vlogs if you haven't yet. But yeah, let's keep talking about this, beat the stigma, and it's all just one day at a time. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye! So today I wanted to do a bit of a chatty one really about making friends as an adult and how it's so damn hard. At school I never had any friends, well actually I had one friend for a while and then she got moved to a private school so I never really saw her again and I was kind of on my own. At uni I 